So today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting mixed numbers. There'll be no regrouping in the subtracting. So my first example, 7 and 3 tenths plus 2 and 1 tenth. We'll look at the fractions first. 3 tenths plus 1 tenth is 4 tenths. Look at the whole numbers, 7 plus 2 is 9. Then I have to look at my fraction. Do I need to reduce it to lower terms? Yes, they're both even numbers. I can divide them both by 2. So I divide by 2 over 2, which is 1 whole. Does not change the value of the fraction, just changes how it looks. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. I've got to put that 9 together with my 2 fifths to get my final answer of 9 and 2 fifths. Now next example, 3 and 1 sixth plus 2 and 5 sixths. This one's a little trickier. Look at my fractions. I add 1 sixth plus 5 sixths and I get 6 sixths. 3 plus 2 is 5. Now the 6 sixths is actually equal to 1 whole. Now I don't want to leave it like that. I want to take that 1 whole and add it to the 5 that I already have sort of like carrying a number. 5 plus 1 of course is 6. My final answer is 6. My next example is 5 and 4 fifths. I'm going to add 2 and 2 fifths. 4 fifths plus 2 fifths is 6 fifths. My whole numbers 5 plus 2 is 7. So now I have 7 and 6 fifths. That 6 fifths is an improper fraction. So I need to make it into a mixed number that I'm then going to add to the whole number I already have. So to make it into a mixed number, I take 6 divided by 5. goes in 1 time. 1 times 5 is 5. I have 1 left over, so I have 1 fifth left over. I add my 1 and 1 fifth now. I'm going to add that to the 7 that I already have, and that is going to make 8 and 1 fifth. A little bit trickier. The subtraction without regrouping is really very similar to addition. It's, it's a very simple problem. Here's one example, 7 and 7 eighths minus 4 and 1 eighth. 7 eighths minus 1 eighth is 6 eighths. 7 minus 4 is 3. I always have to look at my fraction to see if I can reduce it any further. In this case, I'm going to reduce it by 2. So I'm going to write 2 over 2, which we know is 1 whole. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So my final answer is 3 and 3 fourths.